Ja, hallo zusammen und seid gegrüßt zu einer weiteren Folge von Let's Play The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. Ich bin jetzt mal zwischenzeitlich schlafen gewesen und ähm, ja, nehme jetzt hier quasi mit 8 Stunden Zeitverzögerung zum letzten Part auf und äh, hoffe, dass das heute ein bisschen besser klappen wird mit dem Vorlesen und mit äh, Konzentration und hast du nicht gesehen, weil ich bin gestern echt wahnsinnig müde gewesen. So, dann lass mich mal gucken. Hier dürfte eigentlich jetzt nichts Neues passieren. Ich werde trotzdem mal schauen. Also vielleicht, nachdem ich dann beim Bürgermeister war. Aber... Ähm, okay, sie hat gestern Nacht nicht genug zu trinken bekommen. Uh, maybe I should have had Shira join me for a bit longer instead of heading home early. Ja, ich weiß immer bei so einem Smalltalk nebenbei Plaudereien nicht, ob wir das alles schon kennen oder ob das neu ist, aber ich habe jetzt das Let's Play noch relativ neu gewesen ist. Ähm, da, da hieß es, dass jedes Mal, wenn ich irgendwie in der Hauptstory weiterkomme, dass die Leute auch andere Dinge erzählen. Deswegen erwarte ich in der Regel immer, dass dass wir das noch nicht kennen. So, jetzt weiß ich nicht mehr, wo der Typ hier war. Ich glaube, ganz oben kann das sein. Ne, ganz oben war nur die Rumpelkammer. Der Dachboden. Hier war ich gerade drin, ne? Genau. Hier vielleicht. Jawohl. Oh, wer ist sie denn? Girl in Uniform. I see. I would never have imagined that the clock tower had such an anecdote to go with it. I'm totally blown away after hearing that. With war, it's easy to speak of tragedy. But I think what's important is the strength to overcome the pain and establish peace. Wovon reden die da? Well, who do we have here? Ja, dein Auftraggeber ist wieder da. We've come to, de to deliver the, the object you requested. Um, did we catch you in the middle of something? Oh, Estelle and Joshua, you're no trouble at all. In fact, you've come at a good time. Let me introduce you to my guest. This is Josette. She's a student at the Janice Royal Academy. The Janice Royal Academy? I've heard of it before. It's a boarding school for higher education in the Rouen region, right? Yes, that's right. It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Josette Har. Har. <laughs> I'm Estelle. It's nice to meet you, Josette. You can tell me, Joshua. The two of them are actually bracers. I had asked them to do a personal job for me. Aha, uh -huh. bracers? You mean the proud knights of freedom who love peace above all else and do not succumb to any power? This is such an inspiring moment, I never thought I'd run into any real bracers. The inspiring part sounds a little much. <clears throat> By the way, it is alright if I just call you Josette? Yes, please do. So, why did you come to Roland? Are you a friend of the mayor's? No, today is actually the first time we've ever met. I'm researching the important cultural assets of each region as a part of my independent studies. And although I thought he might be busy, I've been lucky enough to get an audience with the mayor. You're really serious about your studies, aren't you? Maybe we're intruding a bit, huh? No, I've already asked the mayor enough questions. Instead, maybe it is I who am in the way. Don't be silly, it's not like that at all. Estelle, this is a great opportunity, so how about showing her what you've brought with you? Sure, hold on a second. Tada, jetzt wird's hell, es leuchtet und strahlt und glitzert. Oh my word, that septum, right? What a wonderful glow it gives off. Yes, and its size is impressive is impressive too. This is indeed a gift worthy of expressing the appreciation of all Roland citizens. So, so, a gift? Worthy of expressing our appreciation? I see, so this is a gift for the Queen's anniversary. You're sharp, Joshua. I intend to send an engraved ornament using this to the Queen. As a token of Roland citizens' appreciation to Her Majesty, who will be turning 60 years old. So, it's a present for the Queen. Ja, das haben wir doch heute schon dreimal festgestellt, meine liebe Estelle. How delightful! We, as citizens of Liberal, owe Her Majesty a great debt for all she has done for us. In fact, the reason why we can use an airliner with such case is because of the support of the royal family. I've even heard that the Bracer Guild in Liberal has received support from the royal family. We do owe her a great debt of gratitude. Wow, that's pretty amazing! 
Uh huh. And can you believe it, Joshua? We carry the present for the queen with these very hands. And what's more, you ran around with it in those hands like a wild maniac. <laughs> yeah, I remember me. You weren't supposed to tell anyone. <laughs> I wouldn't have imagined anything less from you, Estelle. Mm, erwischt. Yeah, you guys. Aber keiner scheint dir böse zu sein. Here you go, Major Klaus. Mayor. Mayor. Nicht das scharfe J. <coughs> It has been faithfully delivered. Yay, da haben wir es übergeben. Thank you very much. And as a matter of precaution. Kommen wir jetzt auch noch irgendwas? Ne, jetzt kommt das Ding erstmal in den Tresor. Das wurde nämlich, oder das ist als Geschenk für die Königin angedacht. Okay, it will be safe in here, in there. So rum. Ja, ich habe dir voll über die Schulter geguckt. Ich kenne dein Passwort. Now all that's left is to have Melda's Orbit Factory finish up the engraving on its ornament. I can't wait to see what it will look like when it's done. Don't hog it all to yourself when you do. Let me see it too when it's finished, okay? It's too bad I won't be here to see it for myself. But today I was lucky enough to speak with the mayor and see something as beautiful as that. How shall I ever thank you? Don't mention it, this is all part of my job as a mayor. Thank you for everything, but I think it's time for me to say goodbye. I think we should be going ourselves. Agreed. Have a nice day, Mayor Klaus. Yourselves as well. Coole Sache mit ihr. Werden wir bestimmt noch mehr zu tun haben mit der Studentin, oder? So, you're heading home tomorrow on the airliner, are you? Yes, that's right. School's about to begin. I see. So, you used your school vacation time to come here. That's too bad. We could have made great friends. I hope we can meet again sometime. There's nothing I would like more. Please have a wonderful day, Estelle, Joshua. Tschüss. Irgendwie ist die voll süß mit ihrem blauen Haaren. What a nice girl, sag ich doch. For looking like someone from a rich family, she wasn't snooty at all. Yeah. Joshua? Oh, could I be correct in assuming that? <laughs> Sie denkt, er ist verknallt. She's your type. What? Ah, gibt's dort so... Uh, what are you talking about? You're blushing. I'm really surprised. I had no idea that you were into the rich girl type. We have to get some pickup lines ready for the next time you meet. <laughs> Der Arme. Quit getting all excited about nothing. Especially when you have no idea what others are thinking. Huh? Just never mind. Anyway, let's report to the guild. The next job we're doing for Dad will be the last one. All right. All right, let's get pumped and knock this last one out. Das klingt interessant. Ich hätte jetzt gedacht, dass wir uns ihr vielleicht anschließen würden. Und vielleicht jetzt ein neues Gebiet betreten würden. Aber gut, wir müssen ja erstmal alle Aufgaben für Vater erledigen. Ja, Joshua ist irgendwie schwer einzuschätzen. Ich weiß nicht, ob was für ein Frauentyp mehr steht, aber irgendwie glaube ich ihm das, wenn er sagt, dass Esther sich nicht zu Dingen äußern soll, von denen sie keine Ahnung hat. Hm. You two did well in bringing back the crystal safely. I hear you're really making a name for yourselves. I'm looking forward to your future success as bracers. Ja, kannst du auch, ne? Du bist ja richtig sauber unterwegs gewesen. Aber wer ist der, der Kristall runtergefallen? Ich glaube, das wäre echt so ein Fiasko geworden. Ja, für den 60. Geburtstag der Königin hatte der Bürgermeister das Ding benötigt und das soll jetzt in der Factory irgendwie noch geschliffen werden und so und alles soll am Ende ganz schön werden und wir gucken mal, was es jetzt hier Neues gibt. Warte mal erstmal hier. Oh, Lost Kitten, verlorene Kätzchen wiederfinden. I'm looking for my Lost Kitten, please meet me on the Café Terrace. Okay, 500 Mira nehmen wir doch gerne von der Ida. So, und hier... Elise Highway Monster. Was? A ferocious monster known as a Rhinocida has been spotted roving the Elise Highway. Braces from this branch are requested to deal with the threat immediately. Okay, also hier geht's darum, Monster aus dem Weg zu räumen. Und das wird gut bezahlt, also wird wahrscheinlich jetzt auch kein Spaziergang werden. Das hier ist ähm, leicht von der Schwierigkeit, das hier Medium. Na, mal gucken. Und hier bin ich jetzt auch gespannt. Good work. It looks like you ran into a bit of trouble at the mine, though, huh? Huh? How do you know? 
I got a call from the mine. They said that they were incredibly grateful to the both of you. Now, how about you give me a report of what happened? Okay then, this is what happened. Yay. Ich weiß gar nicht, wie viel Geld wir kriegen. 1500, jawollo. Wenn das mal nicht geil ist, immer noch 8. Klasse. <laughs> It looks like you did much more than anyone was expecting from you. Dealing with unexpected accidents is also a part of our mission as Bracers. I hope to see more great things from you in the future. Darauf kannst du aber Gift nehmen. You just leave that to us. Well, you don't have to worry about us there missing anything since her nose is always in everything. <laughs> yeah, what he said. Hey, why are you saying that? I'm super nosy like that. Because you are. Your skills lie in being direct, nosy and naive, right? Mm, isn't that being a bit harsh, Joshua? Are you sure about that? Ich glaube, er hat gerade voll Spaß, wenn er sie immer so, ähm, ja, nerven kann. Alright, that's enough, you two. Okay, this is the last of the jobs you'll be doing for Cassius. You've heard of the Libre News, right? You'll be cooperating with them to get some coverage for a news story. Isn't that the name of the news magazine we bought the other day? What are the chances of that happening? When you say cooperating with them to get some coverage, just exactly what does that entail? It seems that they're looking for a skilled guide because they want to get some shots of a dangerous place. You need to ask the reporters directly for the details. The reporter and camera, wo camera woman from the news service are staying at the Hotel Roland. Here's a referral from the guild. Received guild referral, okay. Alright, how about we get over to the hotel and talk to these people? Good idea, let's go. Hmm, ich würde aber sagen, wir fangen erst mit den kleinen Missionen an, oder? Obwohl, vielleicht sollte ich mit allen Auftraggebern erstmal sprechen, damit ich nicht 10 und 30, 30 mal laufen muss und so. Also ein Auftraggeber stand auf der Terrasse. Ich gehe mal eben kurz hier gucken. Ob es hier irgendwas gibt, so auf den ersten Blick, was jetzt anders erscheint. Äh, weiß ich nicht mehr. Irgendwie, wie gesagt, bei den ganzen NPCs so. So, the Bracer Combo, who's been having a great showing is... The two of you, Joshua and Estelle. Maybe I should brag that these same Bracers are the friends of my daughter. Tabita. Also gesprochen haben wir auf jeden Fall schon mit ihr, aber inhaltlich, wie gesagt, da muss ich passen. So, okay, also wenn von Terrasse die Rede ist, dann wird das wahrscheinlich hier irgendwo sein und direkt ein Treffer gelandet. Ida. What am I ever to do? I hope those braces will show up sometime soon. Did I hear you say you're looking for a couple of braces? Yes, that's right. Does it mean that you are they? That you are they, okay. It sure does. Even that handsome young man too? That's right, myself included. Well, well, what a pleasant surprise this is. Irgendwie scheinen schon wieder alle Weiber auf Joshua abzufahren. Also weil ihr überhaupt nicht subtil oder so. <laughs> There certainly seem to be a lot of people with the name Bracer these days. Huh? Does this mean that you are brother and sister or something like that? You know, that's got to be it. When people have the same name, it's usual, it usually means their family. Well, I guess that's kind of how it is for us. Estelle, I think this lady has no idea what bracers are. She seems to have mistaken the word bracer for somebody's name. Mm, yeah, you can't be serious. May I ask what the two of you are whispering to each other about? It will be a pain to explain all of this to her, so let's just go along with what she says. I try. You seem to be troubled over something, ma'am. My goodness, for such a cute little dumpling you catch on quick. Young boys are so considerate. Hey, are you really distressed or are you just trying to flirt with someone who's way too young for you? <laughs> oh, that's right. I am, I am. I am so distressed. My little Ariel hasn't come home. I carelessly dust off here at the cafe and she vanished. And who is Ariel exactly? My little kitten. She's so snuggly wuggly. Oh, and if I might add, it's not just her face. That's so cute. It's her personality as well. What the, uh, What's the color of your kitten's fur? 
Um, let me think for a moment. Maybe it's like the color of the evening sun in autumn shining down upon a field of wheat. So it's, um, tannish? I think she's just out running around somewhere, so if you find her, please bring her back. Understood, we start by looking for her outdoors. If we find her, we'll come back and report to you. I'll be waiting here for you. Good luck, Mr. and Mrs. Bracer. Äh, die Frau soll irgendwie keinen Peil davon haben, was Bracer überhaupt ausmacht und bringt da irgendwie ein paar Dinge durcheinander. Auf jeden Fall vermisst sie ihre Katze. Und, ähm, ja, wir werden jetzt erstmal draußen mit der Suche starten, hat Joshua zumindest behauptet. Aber, okay. Oh, ich glaube, ich bin gerade zufällig in die richtige Richtung gelaufen. Gesehen habe ich sie ehrlich gesagt nicht. Look! Ah, oh, ist ja so klar, dass sie abhauen würde. Joshua, is that cat? It looks like the one that lady was looking for. I'm certain that uh, that's the one. We'd better hurry and catch it. Ist sie jetzt draußen geblieben oder ist sie in irgendein Haus reingerannt? Das ist jetzt irgendwie nicht gesehen. Sollte man aber wahrscheinlich auch nicht, oder? Also die Kamera ist jetzt zumindest nicht gefolgt. Sie ist hier irgendwo nach oben gelaufen. Hm. Oh. Okay, ich muss wahrscheinlich jetzt immer die richtigen Ecken hier einfach in der Stadt ansteuern. Look, it's that cat again. Cat again? Get back here! Hmm, this is just like back at the Purcell farm. It seems like we're doing a lot of chasing these days. Oh, ist aber auch schon wieder eine Weile her, seit wir auf der Farm diese Mission da erledigt haben. So, ja, Joshua hat gerade ähm, sich so ein bisschen unglücklich dazu geäußert, dass wir in letzter Zeit nur irgendwelchen Lebewesen nachjagen. There's that cat again. Cat again, schon wieder. Das klingt voll komisch, wenn ich das ausspreche. Estelle, wait a minute. Maybe that kitten is trying to... Oh no, it's getting away. Uns irgendwo hinzuführen, ne? It went toward the chapel. Let's hurry and catch it. Here we go again. Äh, das sah aber aus, als wäre sie reingelaufen. Wir gucken einfach mal, jawohl. Wenn sie irgendwas von Beyond gesagt hat, würde das nicht heißen, dahinter? Keine Ahnung. Hm, 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 there's nowhere left to run, little kitty. It's time to be caught. So müssen sie nicht bekämpfen. Sie ist voll süß und verängstigt. Oder sie will uns wirklich einfach nur irgendwas zeigen. Oder alter Mann, was sagst du? What's with all this talking? This place is supposed to be a house of prayer. Okay, ich bin ruhig. Nur für dich, okay? Ich flüstere ab jetzt, ja? Damit du dich nicht gestört fühlst beim Beten. Oh, hier hört er uns wieder. Hm, be a good kitty and surrender. Hm, die springt jetzt gleich runter, oder? Stay right there like that and... Die hat voll Angst, die arme Maus. Stay on corner her like that. What do you intend to tell her owner if she takes a dive off the terrace? Das wird sie ja wohl überleben. Uh, I know that, but it's not like there's any other way to catch her. Na, Joshua hat bestimmt jetzt wieder einen besseren Einfall, oder? Come here, Ariel. That's right, this way. Sag ich doch. I'm sorry, the big bad Estelle scared you like that. <lacht> Jerk. Come on, let's go back and see your owner. Oh, wie schön. Ja, 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 ja. That's a good girl, Ariel. All right, let's go. Your owner's waiting for you. So schnell kann es gehen. Da wollte ich jetzt einfach nur zum nächsten Auftraggeber laufen und da holen wir sie einfach unterwegs ab. Auch nicht schlecht. And that's pretty much everything that happened. I'm pretty sure that Ariel was on her way back to see you from the beginning. Each time we saw her, she had been walking towards toward the cafe. Now that you mention it, that does seem like what happened. There's a chance that because of us, she ended up coming back this late. Oh, don't be silly. You two brought her back safe and sound. I'm really grateful to the both of you. But especially you, Mr. Bracer. You are just the cat's meow. <laughs> uh -huh, take that as a compliment. You're blushing, Joshua. I'd sure like to put a collar on you. Then you'd be perfect. <laughs> Die Frau hat echt so ein Ding an der Klatsche. 
I, I apologize, but we're going to need to get back and report to the guild. Uh, have a nice day. See you later. Oh yes, I hope to be seeing a lot more of Mr. Bracer. Ich habe keine Ahnung, wie alt die ist, aber die wirkt echt wie so eine, weiß ich nicht, wie so eine alte Olle, die voll, voll das Fable mitbringt für jüngere Herrschaften. So, from now on, I guess I have to cut back on my afternoon naps. Right, Errol? Ja, okay. Die beiden haben wir wieder glücklich gemacht. So muss das. Holen wir uns mal gleich die Belohnung auch dafür ab. Report. Jawollo. Sehr schön. Immer noch achte Bracer-Klasse. Good work. It seems like you completed your objective without any trouble. If you finish any other jobs, please come back and report again. Machen wir. So. Erstmal gucken. Also im Hotel war ja unsere Hauptmission die nächste gewesen, ne? Ähm, achso, ich habe mich gerade schon wieder gewundert, wo das ist. Ich finde, das ist farblich irgendwie nicht so deutlich beim Überfliegen zu erkennen wie die anderen Gebäude. So, da müsste ich jetzt allerdings nicht mit dem Typen sprechen, sondern hier irgendwo in den Zimmern den eigentlichen Auftraggeber suchen, oder? Du vielleicht? Das ist ja unsere Josette. Deswegen kam die mir so bekannt vor. Die stand nämlich beim letzten Mal schon hier im Hotel. Im Hotel. <lacht> well, good afternoon, Estelle and Joshua. Did you by any chance come for a visit? Would you like a spot of tea? Das hat sie, glaube ich, letztes Mal auch schon gef... Obwohl, nee, kann sie ja gar nicht, weil da kannten wir uns noch nicht. So, seid ihr unsere Auftraggeber? See, uh, see Garo oder so. We're scheduled to head to Bose on the next airliner. It looks like there have been a number of incidents going on in Bose recently, so I'm a bit worried. Okay, irgendwas soll im Bosa abgehen, deswegen werden sie mit dem nächsten Flieger wieder rübergehen. Next is the Bose region for us. Speaking of Bose, the Bose market is what I'm most looking forward to. I hear there are a lot of rare items from the Empire displayed in the stores. I've been stashing money away in anticipation of this day. Preparation is a go, shopping spirit is a go, and loads of money in the wallet is a go! Onward to the Bose market we go! Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Sie will ihrem Konsumfetisch da so ein bisschen frönen. Oder erstmal ihrem Einkaufsfetisch, ob sie auch einen Konsumfetisch mitbringt, keine Ahnung, was ist das denn hier? Da kommen wir nicht durch. Und bei dir so, Talk? Hmm. Well, I was wondering if I could ask you something. Is it true that the people from the magazine company are staying here? Well, you're certainly right about that. Did you have some business with them? Actually, we were representing the guild to cooperate with them on getting a story. Really, is that so? Then I regret to inform you that the both of them are out at the moment. Oh, well, do you know where they went? That reporter fellow said something about heading over to the bar. How about you try asking there? The bar? Got it, thanks. We appreciate the help. Okay. Also, die, wir sind hier per se erstmal richtig, aber die Gäste, die Reporter, die sollen sich gerade in der Bar befinden. Deswegen äh, machen wir uns dahin auf. Ist ja nicht weit weg, ne? So, aber neue Gäste sehe ich jetzt hier auf den ersten Blick nicht. Geht's um euch? Äh, Miss Mirano, we'd better get back to Bose or we miss our next business meeting. I'm sure the mayor is waiting to hear our report as well. Ne, die sind damit nicht gemeint. Ich guck mal kurz nach oben. Hier war ich ja vorhin. Das ist doch die Bar, oder? Warte mal, vielleicht weiß sie irgendwas. Ähm, ich glaube, das hier kennen wir schon. Das mit ihr haben wir doch vorhin schon gesprochen. Ich glaube, da hat sie das Gleiche gesagt oder was anderes. Keine Ahnung. So, was geht hier bei dir, Herr Koch? Hey, Estelle, do you cook? <laughs> the only meals I cook are the ones I have to make when it's my turn at home. And well, it's always best to start with something simple if you have trouble cooking. First you get your ingredients and cookware together and then it's time to put your all into it. Cooking can be a useful skill in many ways. <clears throat> and you've got nothing to lose by trying. Naja, ah, kommt drauf an, wenn du es am Ende so richtig, richtig, richtig verhaust und es nicht genießbar ist, dann 
Hast du ja schon was verloren. Obwohl, dann bist du um eine Erkenntnis reicher, ne? The other day she herself came for a drink and... Well, she was just as unbelievable as you said, Estelle. I don't even dare say what she did. Ich glaube, das kennen wir schon. Ah, das ist unser Mann. Unshaven Man. Voll mit der Fluppe im Mund, ey. Äh, uh, who are your kids supposed to be? Are you perhaps a reporter from the Liberal News? That's right, but how do you know that? I like getting the scope on things, but I hate it when people try and pry into my life. What business do you have with me? Um, we're here representing the Bracer Guild. We were told that you had requested an escort. Ach so, wir sollen ja auch noch... Ah, scheiße, ich dachte, wir sollen den Ort selber aufsuchen, aber es geht um eine Escort-Mission, na super. Oh, so you finally come, have you? I've been waiting forever for you guys to show up. So, uh... Where's Cassius Bright? Um, well, the thing is, he had another job come up. So he's not even in Roland. Well, what? I came all the way here so I could get a story on this famous bracer. Crap, what a waste this trip turned out to be. I don't get what you're so disappointed about, but there's no need to get your boxes in a bunch. We've got you covered. Das hat sie gerade, ich finde das immer voll irritierend, wenn diese Musiknoten dahinter auftauchen. Singt sie das immer? Das sagt sie wahrscheinlich einfach in einem melodischen Tonfall oder so. I guess I don't have much of a choice. You have to do. Wait, what did you just say? Um, don't get your boxes in a bunch. <laughs> no, the we've got you covered part. What do you mean by that? It's just like jo Joshua said, we are representative braces. Oh, and here's our referral. Hey, this has got to be some kind of bad joke. Are you trying to tell me that you little brats are braces? Uh-oh, but brats? Is that how you're supposed to address a lady? What do you mean, lady? There's nothing sexy about you in that outfit. <laughs> If you don't like my assessment, then how about slipping into a skirt and acting like all the other girls your age? This clothing is specifically designed for those who wear the stuff, and this looks like a skirt too. Are you blind? You're such a rude old man. Jetzt hat er es ihr aber gegeben, beziehungsweise andersrum. Uh, who are you calling an old man? I'm still in my twenties, damn it. Getting back to business, sir. Uh, the fact is that we were dispatched by the guild. I'd be more than happy to introduce you to someone else, but I don't know when they'll be free. Uh, I can't extend the deadline any longer. I guess I've got no other alternative. All right, rejoice, you kids. I'm going to leave this up to you. What a generous old man you are. Easy, Estelle. I'm Joshua, and this here is Estelle. And you are... I'm Neil Burns, ace reporter for the Liberal News. Though we won't be working long together, I hope you'll do a good job. Mm, I'll be grateful when this is all over, too. By the way, where is it exactly that you want us to guide to? The way I see it, you need a trusty guide because you're headed somewhere dangerous, right? Right, my destination is the Esmela's Tower. I'm sure you've heard of it before. Ich weiß zumindest noch, dass wir das gesehen haben, ja. Ich kann mich daran auch erinnern, also wo wir hinlaufen müssen, glaube ich. Ha, huh, that's it. Not only <coughs> have we heard of it, but we were there on a job not that long ago. Ach, das war der Tower, wo die Kids sich hin verirrt haben. Genau, wir sind sogar schon drin gewesen. Da war ich mir jetzt nicht mehr so sicher, ob das der war. Well, this may just work out after all. So, what I really want you to do is guide us to the tower roof. I want to get a picture for the magazine. Well, aren't you the thrill seeker? By us, do you mean that someone else is coming along too? Yeah, I've got my camera woman with me. She said something about her orbit camera not working right, so she took off to the orbit factory. But she should have been back by now. If you're in a hurry, then wouldn't it be a good idea to head over there now? No doubt you're going to take off to get your story once you meet up with your partner, right? Yeah, that's true. All right then, let's head straight to the tower once we pick up my partner from the orbit factory. 
Okay, also er und Estelle haben sich jetzt nicht so gut verstanden. Er ist ein bisschen herablassend über uns gewesen, weil er eigentlich unseren Vater antreffen wollte und extra sich auf die lange Reise gemacht hat, um ihn damit zu beauftragen. Und ähm, er gibt sich jetzt mit uns ab, zähneknirschend. Und ähm, ja, er hat noch eine Partnerin, seine Kamerafrau, die wir jetzt hier abholen sollen. Und dann sollen wir zusammen mit ihm und ihr zum Turm gehen, weil er vom Dach aus ein Foto für sein Magazin schießen möchte. Jawohl. Girl with Glasses. Ach, das ist die. Die haben wir doch vorhin schon gesehen. Wait, anything but that. I do anything you ask. Just please give me back my camera. It's worth more to me than my life. Um, this is a problem. What should I do about this, Dad? You're the one who took the job, so you're the one who has to deal with it. Okay, hmm, what's all the fuss about? Could this person be... That's her, alright. Hey Dorothy, how long are you going to keep me waiting? Oh, sie hat ja ihre Kamera halt nicht, ne? Yeah, you came just at the right time. Please help me out of here. Ohne das off. What did you do this time? You didn't waste all your money, so now you don't have enough for repairs, did you? It's amazing, how did you guess? Are you like a clairvoyant or something? When you do the same thing, thing that many times, even an idiot would know what's going on. Do you know this person? I'm sorry to ask, uh, to ask this, but can I get you pay the repair costs? Fine, but I need you to write it off as a business expense. How much? Let's see. The decorative clock and the repairs together are 2000 Mira. Ach du große Güte. Hold on. I can understand the repairs, but what's the deal with the decorative clock? Well, I was looking around the store while he was doing the repairs and I saw a pretty clock and when I picked it up it broke. But I'm glad we can write it off as a business expense. How wonderful is that? That kind of amount is not going to be covered. Crap, it looks like I'm going to have to pay out of my own pocket and get my money back later. Here's your 2000 Mira. And this is your receipt. Oh mein Gott, okay. Die scheint irgendwie ein bisschen komisch zu sein, die Frau. This is an unbelievably awkward combination if I ever see I've ever seen one. No doubt about that, but the fact that he'll pay out of his pocket for someone means he's probably pretty nice to work under. Ja, oder er hat einfach eine Arsch voll Geld und für ihn ist das gar nicht so viel. Sorry to keep you waiting, kids. Had to take care of a little trouble. Who are these kids, Neil? They're the bracers who will be acting as our escorts and guides. They'll be taking the place of Cassius Bright, with whom we'd originally made arrangements. These young kids are... I'm Estelle, it's nice to meet you. And I'm Joshua. So, it's Estelle and Joshua, is it? You may be young, but you seem reliable. I'm Dorothy Hyatt. I'm the new camera woman for the Liber News. At the moment, I'm training on the Neil. Why'd I get stuck babysitting this blockhead of a girl? That damn editor-in-chief. Relax, relax, something good will come out if all of this... Will come okay, warte nochmal. Something good will come out of all of this soon enough. Hm. You'll want to talk. Never mind, just forget it. Now that we've got everyone together, how about we go and get our story? Our destination is the SMLS Tower, right? Alright, let's go! Right on! Okay. Guck mal, sind wir zu viert, aber nicht äh, hier so, ne? Ne, okay, das sind halt einfach nur unsere Begleiter. Ähm, um, okay, warte mal. Nee, warte, hier will ich jetzt erstmal mit ihm kurz reden. Your camera is one of the really nice new models, Dorothy. This is for professionals, so I think it may be a bit difficult to use. Tee, <laughs> are you talking about Poochie? P Poochie? He's so cute and does whatever I tell him to. Huh, huh? If you listen to everything she says, you're just going to end up with a headache. <laughs> Ups, warte mal. Wie mein Wecker jetzt hier gerade voll anging. So, ähm, um, okay, gucken wir nochmal, was er jetzt zu erzählen hat. Glad that unpleasantness is behind us. I was unsightly the way Freddy behaved himself. 
Achso, ich kann bei ihm gar nicht Talk und so auswählen. Alles klar, ja, also sie ist irgendwie so ein bisschen ähm, verpeilt, merkwürdig. Ich will jetzt nicht sagen ähm, dümmlich. Also ich finde sie irgendwie niedlich, so von ihrer Art, aber es ist halt schon ein krasser Kontrast zwischen ihm, also zwischen dem Reporter und seiner Kamerafrau. Aber gut, die sind halt nur Arbeitskollegen und werden es wahrscheinlich auch bleiben. So, ihr Lieben, ich werde in der nächsten Folge... Und dann mal gucken, dass wir, äh, oder ob es überhaupt möglich ist, mit den Nebenmissionen zu starten. Und ähm, ja, wenn ja, dann machen wir die dann zuerst. Wenn nicht, dann werden wir erstmal zum Tower aufbrechen und den Rest dann danach erledigen. Ich danke aber zuallererst fürs Einschalten und würde mich sehr freuen, wenn ihr auch beim nächsten Mal wieder mit dabei seid. Macht's gut, ihr Lieben und bis dann. Ciao!